Hello, good evening. Hi, Rosario. Hi, Roxana. Hi, Helen. Hi. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm very fine. Excellent. How was Pretty your day? Well. Pretty well. <laughs> Excellent. Good job. Very well. <laughs> nice. Excellent. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal estuvo el día? Hay mucho tráfico. <laughs> ah, a lot of traffic, I know. It's so a lot different. of traffic. Yeah, I had the same issue. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> Pero ya estamos acá. <laughs> ya. <Yeah. laughs> ok, vamos a ver cómo vamos con la plataforma, chicas. Bien, quiero ver por dónde mm. me quede. <laughs> Helen ya va a terminar uh... eso. Ya va a terminar. <laughs> Estaba viendo el uso del, del how, del much, much. Mm -hmm. okay. Quantifiers. Quantifiers, ajá. Uh -huh. Excellent. Vamos bastante adelantaditos. That's nice. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Usted también va por ahí, Rosario. Sí. Ah, ok. Nice. Good for you. Excellent. And Roxana? Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Primer clase, ya no pude conectarme hasta ahorita y mañana yo puedo ponerme al día con todo. Ah, ok, perfecto, perfecto. Eh, por casualidad usted ya tiene el link eh, para, para, eh, de todas las, ah, no, de las clases que hemos tenido. De, de YouTube? No. Ah, va. Ahorita, ahorita se lo comparto. No. no se preocupe. Ahorita se lo comparto. Y este, pero a plataforma sí ya pudo entrar, ¿verdad? De la plataforma sí. Ah, ok. Perfecto. Perfecto. Sí, ahorita vamos ya finalizando. El día de ahora vamos a ir finalizando la sección número 2. Eh, han sido como unos 6 o 7 ejercicios nada más los que se han realizado. O 8 creo que son más o menos por ahí. Así que se puede, todavía se puede poner al día, ¿verdad? Ya el día, esa semana, eh, ya vamos a alcanzar el primer examen, así que es muy importante que, que, que nos pongamos al día, ¿ok? Pero sí, estamos a tiempo, no worry. Uh -huh. okay. Gracias, perfecto. Ok, ya dentro de un ratito, nada más déjeme buscar el link y ya se lo comparto. Creo que este es... Él tiene periquito. Sí, por eso me estaba riendo, porque eh, estaba aquí haciendo ruido. Entonces yo le di esta pera a jaula y ahí estaba como queriendo picotear. Ay, nosotros teníamos uno, pero un gato se lo, se lo comió. Ay, no. Yo tengo dos, un perico y, y el otro es este que hace ruido, es esta canica. Ah, qué bonito. Y quiero uno, pero de los grandotes, de los que duran bastante. De los es? pericones o, ajá, o de los o loras. Loras, de los loras, loras, de los loros, cabal. Mucha bulla. ¿sí? <risa> no, pero Mucho hablan. Pero lo que sí estaba viendo yo era que lo, las más inteligentes eran los el loro africano. De verdad. Sí, de los. Ellos eh, aprenden a hablar bastante. Sí, por acá hay un restaurante en el que tienen un, un loro. No sé si es africano, pero es un loro. Y dice de todo. <ríe> Literalmente de todo. Ajá. Sí, son bien inteligentes. 
Sí, son bastante, bastante inteligentes. Pero bueno. Eh, Roxana, por acá le compartí el link, ¿ok? En el, en el chat. Eh, ¿Lo puede sí, ver? Sí, estaba viendo, teacher. Gracias. Ok, excelente. Ahí se puede poner al día con, con los, con los uh -huh. vídeos y este, cualquier duda, eh, ahí me puede preguntar, ok, por WhatsApp. No hay ningún problema. Uh -huh. Gracias. All right. Let's see. Hi, Silvia. Hi, Jennifer. Eh, hi, Jorge. Hi. Hello. How are you? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? <laughs> Excellent. Hi, Elmer. Uh, let's see. Alma Joana, hello. Carolina, hello. Arturo also, hello. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, mister? I'm fine, teacher. I like your shirt. I like the Germany shirt. That's a really nice one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really, really nice t-shirt. Okay, people. Excellent. So, thank you so much for joining us. Okay, bienvenidos a todos. A nombre del corporativo. Eh, les damos la bienvenida nuevamente. Y eh, como les decía anteriormente, esta semana vamos a finalizar ya con las tres secciones. Y el día de ahora finalizamos con la section number two. Okay, así que hay un par de detallitos nada más por ahí eh, que necesitamos repasar. Okay, pero antes de eso, eh, vamos a hacer un par de oraciones. Okay. First, we're going to uh, use negative sentences, okay? Negative sentences. So let's think about some activities that we didn't do before the class, okay? Antes de la clase. For example, in my case, um, let's see. Uh, I didn't watch TV before the class, okay? I didn't watch TV before the class, okay? And after the class, no, 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 no watch TV, okay? No watching TV. What about you? Okay, before the class, after the class, let's see. Uh, Jorge, tell me one. I didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't do homework uh, uh, through 30 uh, after, no, before the class. Before the class, excellent. Okay, nice. Okay, excellent. Remember that we have to use the present, right? I didn't do, okay? El verbo ahí se iba en presente porque ya estamos utilizando didn't. Excellent. Uh, let's see, Rosario. Tell me something that you didn't do. I didn't wash my face after uh -huh. the class, before uh -huh. the class. Before the class, excellent. Okay, I didn't wash my face. Perfect. Helen, tell me one, please. I didn't play soccer before the class. Ah, I didn't play soccer before the class. Excellent. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's see, Silvia, tell me one. Silvia Yanira, uh -huh. tell me one before the class. Uh -huh. After the class. Mm. Algo que no hicimos. Uh -huh. I didn't. Ajá. Bueno, entonces la siguiente. Vamos a hacer una pregunta fácil. Yes, yes I did or no I didn't. Ok. Vamos a ver. Eh, did, you, did you have dinner before the class? Solo me tiene que decir I yes. Did. Yes, I did, did or no, I didn't. Ajá. Ajá. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. did. Ah. Ok, perfect. Ok, yes, I did. Eso sería la segunda parte que vamos a practicar. Okay, questions. Uh, let's see, Elena. Hi, Elena. Uh, tell me, your question is, uh, did you take a shower before the class? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. In the morning, yes, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> 
Eh, Arturo, let's see Arturo. Um, did you drink soda before the class? Yeah, I didn't. No, you didn't. Uh -huh. okay. I didn't. I didn't cola champagne. Ah, you, <laughs> you, you, you drunk cola champagne. Okay, nice. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's see, Ana Miriam. Um, did you send an email before the class? Good evening. Good evening. Yes, I, yes, I did. Okay, yes, I did. Simple, okay? Excellent. Thank you so much, okay? And the last one, okay? The last practice. Ahora vamos a pensar en algo que hicimos antes de la clase, okay? Vamos a pensar en algo que hicimos. Y ese algo lo vamos a pasar el verbo ha pasado, okay? Recuerde que tenemos regular verbs and irregular verbs, okay? Así que formule ahí una oración de algo que usted hizo before the class, okay? Before the class. Recuerde que el verbo tiene que ser en pasado, right? Tenemos verbos regulares, tenemos verbos irregulares, y cada uno tiene una pronunciation eh, diferente, ¿ok? Acuérdense de los verbos que hemos estado viendo, los verbos regulares que, irregulares, perdón, que vimos ayer, que cambiaron completamente. Y ya les voy a preguntar, ¿ok? Yes, sorry, today I, uh -huh, en mi caso, eh, before the class, eh, I took a shower, ¿ok? Before the class, I took a shower. Or I took a shower before the class, ¿ok? I took a shower before the class. What about you? Let's see. Uh, what did you do before the class? Okay, so I did the class. Uh -huh. Let's see. Carolina, tell me one sentence, please. What did you do before the class? Today, I, before the class, watched the ditches. Ah, you washed the dishes. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Good job. Okay, Marlon. Thank you. Okay. No problem. No lo, no lo, no, no lo voy a molestar. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Rosario, tell me one, one thing that you did before the class. I ate dinner before you ate, the class. You ate dinner. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Jorge, what did you do before the class? Uh, I draw. I draw uh, my car before the class. I drove my car. Excellent. Okay. I drove my car uh -huh, before the class. Elmer Neftali, tell me one sentence, please. What did you do before the class? Uh, I listened to music before the class. Ah, excellent. I listened to music. Before the class, uh -huh. nice. Um, let's see, Jennifer Guzman, tell me, what did you do before the class? I <coughs> cene. I ate. I did for the class. Uh -huh. I ate. Uh -huh. Did for the class. Excellent. I ate my dinner. Uh huh. Uh huh. My I dinner. ate. Excellent. Okay. Good job. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Daisy. Hi, Daisy. What did you do before the class, Daisy? Hi. Good evening. Good evening. I take a shower. Uh huh. What is the verb take in the in the past? Take in the past. Took. Uh huh. I took a shower. Excellent. Okay. I took a shower. Nice. Uh -huh. Thank you. Alma Joana, tell me one. What did you do before the class? Uh -huh. Yesterday. One more time, please. Que no le escuché. Eh, se, se escuché cortadito. Uh -huh. I drank a coffee. I drank a coffee. Excellent. Okay. I drank a coffee. And finally, Arturo. What did you do before the class, Arturo? I watched a comedy movie before class. You watched a comedy movie. Mm -hmm. I watched a comedy mm -hmm. before a Okay, a comedy movie uh -huh, before the class. Okay, excellent. Good job. Okay, good job. Entonces, es ahí donde estamos utilizando eh, 
eh, los verbos los verbos en pasado ok excellent people excellent job all right recuerden que el día de ayer estuvimos viendo information questions right y estuvimos viendo eh, las diferentes los diferentes tipos de information questions que tenemos y así mismo la respuesta que pueden votar ok entonces, le voy a volver a hacer estas mismas preguntas a ustedes, solo para ver si se acuerdan cómo responder, ¿ok? Incluso ahí tenemos una respuesta para que más o menos sepa cómo responder, right? eh, El único que no vimos fue who, ya vamos a ver qué pasa con who, ¿ok? So, don't worry. Ok, let's see. What time did you wake up in the morning? What time did you wake up in the morning? Let's see. Rosario, what time did you wake up? I woke up at 5 a.m. At 5 a.m. Oh, wow. Good for you. Yes. <laughs> okay, excellent. Uh, Elmer, what time did you wake up in the morning? I woke up at uh, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Okay, okay. Let's see. Vamos a ver quién gana. Uh, Elena, what time did you wake up in the morning? Uh-huh. If not, let's see, Jesse, what time did you wake up in the morning, Jesse? I slept, I slept, um, six? Six, a.m., uh -huh. six a.m., okay, excellent, okay, six a.m. All right, question number two. Where did you study high school? Where did you study high school? Okay, let's see. Where did you study high school? The question is for, um, let's see, Yesenia Beatriz. Where did you study high school, Yesenia? I studied high school um, Celsius. One more time, what is it? What was it? I have a squid and a Celsius, le dicen, pero es Centro Escolar Católico. Ah, okay, Centro Escolar Católico. No sé cómo se le trae. Okay, but we are going to put it, okay? Centro Escolar Católico. <laughs> okay, excellent, oops, Católico. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Helen, where did you study high school, Helen? I studied uh, Francisco Francisco Morazán. I studied, uh -huh. ah, okay, okay, nice, mm -hmm. good for you, excellent. Now we have this uh, question, how did you spend your last Sunday? Okay, decimos que en ese caso eh, vamos a poner I spent my last Sunday y luego the activity in ING. Okay, por ejemplo, I spent my last Sunday watching TV, doing exercise, okay, etc. ¿Verdad? Serán algunos tipos de, perdón, algunos tipos de respuestas que podíamos eh, brindar. Okay, using ING phrases, okay, ING phrases. Vamos a practicar esta. Eh, y le voy a preguntar a esta. What did you do yesterday after the class? Después de, la, de que la clase terminó a uh, 10 p.m. yesterday, ¿ok? What did you do yesterday? Si se fijan en ese caso, eh, las respuestas que me dieron el día de ayer no incluyen do, porque las actividades no incluyen do, sino que every single activity has a principal verb, ¿ok? So I'm going to change the principal verb to the past, okay? That's the most important thing. What did you do yesterday after the class, okay? Después de la clase, after the class. What did you do? Let's see. Arturo, what did you do yesterday after the class? Uh -huh. After the class. I enjoy my song. One more time. Um, I. Uh -huh, I. Um, watch TV. I watched TV. Uh huh. 
Okay, I watched TV. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Anna Miriam, what did you do yesterday after the class? Uh -huh. What did you do yesterday after the class? Después de la clase. And then let's see, Sylvia, also Sylvia. What did you do yesterday after the class? Uh -huh. Después de la clase. No, no le escuchamos, Sylvia, sorry. <laughs> I go to sleep after the class. Ajá. ¿Cuál es el pasado de go? Went. Went. Ajá. Went. Ajá. Entonces sería. I went. I went to sleep after the class. Excelente. I went to sleep after the class. Ajá. Excelente. Vamos a ver ahora sí, Ana Miriam. Antes estaba como, algo, como frozen. <laughs> sí, Ana Miriam. What did you do yesterday after the class? Y que tengo problemas con el internet. Yeah, Sorry. no problem. I brushed my teeth before the, eh, after the class. After the class, ok. Ahí la, la pronunciación sería con letra T, ok. Brushed. Huh? Brushed. Uh -huh. Brushed, ok. okay. Excellent. Uh -huh. My teeth. Uh, let's see. Rosario, what did you do yesterday after the class? I was the dishes after the class. I washed the dishes, the dishes after the class. After the class. Excellent. Okay. Good job. All right, people. So those are uh, information questions. Okay. Por acá también tenemos otro tipo de questions. In this case, we have who questions. Okay. In this case, when we have who, automáticamente puedo utilizar un verbo en pasado. Okay. Porque incluso si lo traducimos, eh, suena who works in the morning, ¿ok? ¿Quién trabajó en la mañana? ¿Ok? En ese caso sí puedo poner los verbos en pasado, pero únicamente con who, ¿ok? Para hacer referencia a una actividad que se realizó en pasado, ¿ok? Who worked in the morning? Who had an accident last year? ¿Ok? Ah, oh, the teacher had an accident last year. Who worked in the morning? Ah, Silvia worked in the morning, ¿ok? Ahí nada más voy a sustituir ese who por el nombre de una persona y ya tengo la oración hecha, ¿ok? Y obviamente sin el signo de pregunta, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí solo lo sustituyo por una persona. Who worked in the morning? Ah, Jorge worked in the morning, ¿ok? Eh, who made a phone call this afternoon? Ah, eh, Yesenia made a phone call eh, this afternoon, ¿ok? Entonces ahí nada más sustituyo ese who por una persona. ¿Ok? Así que ese es otro tipo muy, muy común de questions. ¿Ok? Muy común de questions. Ahora, en la plataforma, eh, in section, déjeme ver. Where is it? Yeah. Section 2.11. ¿Ok? En la 2.11. Eh, ¿Me confirma si se ve la plataforma, por favor? Yes, sir. Ah, ok. Excelente. Entonces sería la 2.6. Acá tenemos un pequeño audio, ¿ok? Si por casualidad o sea, no le funciona el audio, eh, me manda un mensaje y yo con gusto le descargo el audio y se lo mando, ¿ok? Por, por si casualidad no le funciona. Entonces acá tenemos que escuchar y, la, y las preguntas dicen, Who had a boring time? ¿Ok? So we have to choose only one person. Who had a good time? ¿Ok? And then we check only one person, okay? Who met an old friend, okay? Who met an old friend? Entonces ahí tenemos que escuchar eh, what happened, okay, in the audio. And we are going to complete the sentences, okay? Sorry, we're going to answer the questions, okay? We are going to answer the questions. Así que eh, ahí tenemos que escuchar eh, qué pasó. Y por eso tenemos en este caso who and then the verb in the past, ok, por eso tenemos eh, esta, esta estructura en este caso, ok, all right, so today we're going to see another topic which is related to the simple past, but this is easy, ok, this one is easy, we're going to see was and where, ok, was and where, now was and where is the simple past of am, um, is or are, ok, for example, I am a teacher, uh, she's a nurse, she's a secretary, ok, This is the past of the verb to be. Que es el pasado del verbo to be. I can use this only in three different cases, okay? I can use was and where for professions, 
like I am a teacher, you are a nurse, you are a secretary, you are an engineer, okay? That is a profession, okay? That is a profession. The second case is a place, okay? A place, for example, I am in my house, okay? You are in your house, you are in the hospital, you are in the car, okay? Uh, you are in an apartment, you are in San Salvador, okay? You are in Santa Ana, you are in, in Usulután, I don't know, okay? That is a place, okay? That is a place. An adjective, okay? Ah, I am intelligent, okay? <laughs> or uh, you are beautiful, okay? Uh, you are tall, you are short, okay? Um, you're handsome, uh, you're smart, okay? We have different adjectives, okay? In those three cases, I can use the verb to be, okay? Se fijan, esas oraciones que estaba diciendo ahorita están en presente, pero estoy utilizando the verb to be, okay? Which is the important part of this, okay? Now, I can use also this, but in the past, okay? We are going to learn how to use it in the past. For was, I am going to use I, he, she, and it, I'm going to say was, okay? I was, he was, she was, it was, okay? Very simple. And for where, I am going to use they, you, and we, okay? We. They, you, and we. So, in that case, I am going to change it, okay? Ya no voy a decir are, ni is, ni am, sino que in the past I am going to use was or where. Okay, remember this is the past, okay? This is the past. We are going to see some examples, okay? In the present I say I am a teacher, okay? Now that is the present. In the past it says I was a teacher last year, okay? I was a teacher last year, not anymore, okay? Not anymore. Last year, yes, I was a teacher, okay? Right now, no, okay, that's that's the past, okay? The second one. In the present, we say we are students in module one right now, okay? Or we were, in the past, okay, we were students in module one last month, okay? We were, that is the past, okay? That is the past. Another example, they are my colleagues. That is in the present, right? But in the past, they were my colleagues. What's the meaning of colleagues? What is the meaning of colleagues? Uh -huh. What's the meaning of colleagues? Uh -huh, this word. ¿Qué significa colleagues? Compañeros, colegas. Yeah, colegas or, or compañeros de trabajo, exactly, okay? They were my colleagues, probably cambiaron de, de empresa, right? Están trabajando en otro lugar, eh, o se fueron de viaje, okay? They were my colleagues, okay? Ya, ya no lo son, okay? But in the past, in the present, sorry, in the present, no, but in the past, eh, they were, okay? Ellos fueron mis colegas, not anymore, okay? And you are in Canada, you were in Canada last year, okay? You were in Canada last year. Okay, and then let's see. I am a teacher. In that case, eh, estoy hablando de una profesión, de un place, or de un adjective. What do you think? I was a teacher. Uh -huh. What is the correct one? Profession. A profession, okay, exactly. Entonces, es por eso que estoy utilizando I was, okay? Uh, what about we were students? Uh -huh. Students. What is that? Mm -hmm. Adjective. Adjective, mm -hmm. probably. Profession. Profession, yeah, because we have a teacher and also we have students. Uh -huh. We have students, okay? Yeah, that's also a profession. Uh, what about Canada? You were in Canada last year. Uh -huh. A place, excellent, right? That is a place, uh -huh. perfect, that is a place. 
All right. So we're going to do a short practice over here. And we are going to identify if these are adjectives or uh, if they are uh, places or if they are professions. Okay. Le voy a pedir aquí a unas personas que me, que me ayuden solo poniendo was or where y luego diciéndome si es adjective, place, or profession. Okay? So, let's see the number one. Number one. Remember was or where. Okay? Very simple. Was or where. Let's see. Arturo, number one. Can you help me, please? It were cool yesterday. One more time. It was cool mm -hmm. yesterday. It was cold yesterday. Okay, cold. En ese caso, cold sería adjective, place, or profession. Uh, profession. Uh -huh. Cold. Cold. Mm. Adjective. Uh -huh. adjective. Adjective. It's an adjective. Okay, it's an adjective. Okay, excellent. But yeah, it was cold. Okay, it was cold. Excellent. Uh, number two, Rosario. Hi. Number she two. was hungry. She, she was, was hungry. Excellent. She was hungry. In that case, Rosario, what is it? It's adjective. It's adjective, right? Like when you're hungry and you want food, okay? She was hungry. Excellent. Number three, Sylvia. We were late. We were late. Late for the meeting. Excellent. Okay. We were late for the meeting. In ese caso, late, what is it? What do you think? Adjective. Adjective, excellent, okay? We were late for the meeting. Uh -huh. Nice. Let's see, number four. Number four, Alma Joana, number four. I was tired last night. I was tired last night. And what is it? Adjective. Uh huh. Adjective. Okay. Excellent. Okay. That is an adjective as well. Daisy, you did. Let's see, JC, number five. Sorry, Daisy, number five. Daisy, you did. Uh, if not, let's see, Elmer. Elmer Neftali, number. Sorry, five. sorry, sorry. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Let's see, Daisy. Uh -huh. Tenía apagado el micrófono, perdón. Ah, okay, no problem. <laughs> the exam was difficult. Uh -huh. The exam was yes. difficult. Uh, what is it? Uh -huh. uh, it's an adjective. It's an adjective. Excellent. Okay, perfect. Now, yes, Elmer. Thank you, Daisy. Elmer, number six. They were in Berlin. They were in Berlin. Excellent. Place. Uh -huh. place. Okay, in that case, that's a place. Uh -huh. place. We have in Berlin. Uh -huh. In Berlin. Let's place. see number seven. Number seven. Let's see. Uh, let me see. Let me ask Anna, Anna Miriam. Let's see Anna Miriam. Number seven. You were in the library. 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 I I called you. Uh huh. Okay. You were in the library when I called you. Uh huh. Excellent. In that case, uh, Miriam, what is it? Está lloviendo. Ven y cerra la ventana. Es adjective. Adjective. Mm -hmm. In no, the library. It's no. Place. It's, uh -huh. a it's a place. Okay. No. Don't worry. It's a okay. Place. Don't worry. Okay. Yes. That's a place. Uh huh. Nice. Uh, let's see, Roxana Valladares, number eight. Uh -huh. Roxana. El micrófono apagado, perdón. Ah, okay. The okay. holiday. Uh -huh. The holiday. The holiday uh, was. Uh -huh. Fun. Was fun. Okay. Excellent. The holiday was fun. ¿Qué sería en ese caso, Roxana? Fun is yeah, It was nice. Uh -huh. It's an adjective. Uh -huh. It's an adjective. Okay. It was an adjective. Uh -huh. En ese caso estamos describiéndolo como divertido. Okay. The holiday was fun. Uh -huh. 
Number nine. Let's see, Helen, number nine. A ver, Helen, creo que tiene el micrófono apagado, por eso está... Ahí está. Hola, hola, ¿me escuchan? Ahora, yes, yes. Uh -huh. He was early for the interview. interview. Uh -huh. He was early for the interview. Uh -huh. What is it? It's adjective. Adjective. Excellent. Uh -huh. And number 10. Let's see, Jorge. Uh, the people we met last night was friend. Hmm. French. Okay, in that yeah. case, people is singular or plural? Singular. Singular. Square. Where? Where? So in that case, we, the people were. Okay. Ese, oh, ese, okay. Uh -huh, ese error where? casi siempre se nos viene a la mente porque people no tiene ese. Entonces, como que la mente nos juega en, 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 en contra y nos dice, okay, people is in singular, pero no. Okay. People is singular. Entonces ahí tenemos que ahí ponemos the people, como uh -huh. the people when met last night were French. Were French. In that case, uh, Jorge, what is French? Adjective. Adjective. Excellent. Okay. Adjective. De todas las nationalities, cuando hablamos de nationalities, eh, todas ellas son eh, son eh, adjectives. Okay. Por ejemplo, Salvadorian, Colombian. American, okay, esos son adjectives, okay, son adjectives, okay, excellent, good job, okay, good job. So, that is how we use uh, sentences in affirmative, okay. Now we're going to move on with uh, negative sentences, okay, negative sentences. Eh, lo voy a volver a poner en silencio a todos eh, para evitar interrupciones y para evitar ahí que el, el, el sonido eh, eh, nos interrumpa, okay, así que ahí cuando le pido su participation one more time, Activa su micrófono, please, okay? So, uh, in this case, in order to make negative, we're going to use the word not, okay? Very simple, okay? I was not a teacher last year, okay? Vamos a ver, ¿alguien sabe por casualidad cuál sería la manera contracted de was? Uh -huh. The was not. Wasn't. Ah, wasn't. 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 Excellent, okay? Los que ya vieron los videos de la plataforma, se dan cuenta que es wasn't, okay? Así que puedo decir was not, okay? I can say was not, or I can say eh, wasn't, okay? Cualquiera de las dos maneras eh, se puede, okay? Was not or wasn't, okay? I was not a teacher last year, or I wasn't a teacher last year. ¿Qué va a pasar con where? Okay, I have where, and I'm going to include not, okay? Where not. Entonces, en este caso, puedo decir where not, or I can say weren't, ¿ok? Weren't, que sería la forma contractada de where not, ¿ok? Now, in this case, I have all the sentences, ¿ok? All the, sen all the sentences in affirmative. We're going to change them to negative, ¿ok? Let's see, Carlos Enrique. They were my colleagues. How can I change this to negative? Eh, no le escuchamos, Carlos. Okay. They were my colleagues. How can I change that to negative? Warren. Okay, I can say they were not, uh -huh, my colleagues, o por ahí nuestra compañera también decía weren't, ¿verdad? Podemos ponerlo de, cualquier, de cualquiera de las dos maneras. All right. Um, let's see, Jennifer Guzman. You were in Canada last year. How can I change that to negative? Uh, no, were not. Uh -huh. ¿Y cuál sería la manera contracted? ¿La manera contractada? Were oh. not. Uh -huh. Weren't. Uh -huh. Solo weren't. Okay. Solo weren't. Porque ya el weren't lleva el not. Así que no tengo que volver a decir. Okay. Solo were not o weren't. And Carolina. How can I say I was in Canada last year in negative? 
Wasn't. Okay. Uh huh. Wasn't. Okay. Give me a second. Was not or wasn't. Okay. Wasn't. All right. Excellent. Okay. Ahí ya eh, medio practicamos eh, las diferentes partes que tenemos. And now we are going to complete other sentences. Okay. We're going to complete other sentences, but they are going to be in negative. Okay. They are going to be in negative. So let's see. Number 11. Number 11. Vamos a empezar desde abajo. Let's see. Yesenia. Number 11. Remember was yeah. or where and then not. Okay. O puede hacerlo también de manera contractada. Wasn't or weren't. Okay. Vamos a ver. Yesenia. The woman. Okay, Carla Beatriz, let's see, Carla. That woman wasn't Spanish. Wasn't Spanish. In that case, what is a Spanish? Spanish is adjective. It's adjective, okay. Uh -huh. It's a nationality, okay, it's a nationality. Excellent. Uh, Mirna, Mirna Lopez. Uh, number 12, Julie. Julie. Mm -hmm. uh, was was not late for the class. Okay, Julie was not late for the class. Uh -huh. For the class. In that case, late. What is it? Play. Uh -huh. Tarde. Late. What is it? Okay. Uh -huh. In that case, it's an adjective. Okay. It's an adjective, porque está eh, ser it's tarde. Adjective. Uh -huh. It's adjective. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Daisy, number 13. The food? Okay. Uh, it's not... It wasn't... The food wasn't... What's not very good. Okay. In that case, what is it? Uh, adjective, profession, or place? Uh, adjective. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Oops. All right. Um, give me a second. I need to move something. Okay. All right. Now, Marlon. Uh, let's see, Marlon. Number 13. Day. I remember what's or where. No teacher. Um, no. Mm -hmm. They weren't uh -huh. my uncle and aunt. Okay, they weren't my uncle and aunt. Excellent. Okay. They weren't my uncle and aunt. Nice. Uh, number 15. Number 15. Let's see, Elena. I was not. Okay, I was not rude to the waitress. Okay. Excellent. Vamos a ver, Elena. Are you over there, Elena? Okay. Tengo una duda, teacher. Dígame. Cuando dice Elena, soy yo. Sí, dice Nelly Elena. Ajá. Ah, es okay. que no estoy acostumbrada a que me digan Elena. Ah, pensé que sí. Ah, pues le voy a decir Nelly. Sorry. Okay. Let's see. 16. Dígame. The test. Uh, the, the test. Uh, wedding? Ah, the test. Yes. Como estamos hablando no, de uno. No, Ajá. De uno. Ajá. The test was is easy. Wasn't easy. Ajá. Wasn't easy. Ajá. Wasn't easy. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Nelly. Mm -hmm. Let's see number 17. Jesse. We weren't uh -huh. on the bus when I called. Ah, they weren't on the bus when I called. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's see, Mayra, Mayra Lisef. Uh, number 17, we... 17, se nos escapó la 17. 
we were uh -huh. weren't uh -huh. tired when we uh, arrived. 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 Uh -huh. arrived. Okay, perfect. Nice. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Let's see, Carolina, number 19. Número 19. 19. You? You weren't uh -huh. here when she came. When she came, okay. In that case, here is an adjective, a place, or a profession. Here. Here. Here is a place. It's a place, excellent, okay. Here, it's a place. And finally, let's see, um, Sylvia. Let's see, Sylvia, number 20, the last one. He was not my boyfriend. He was not my boyfriend, excellent, okay? He Good. wasn't my boyfriend. Or he wasn't my boyfriend, excellent. Good job, okay? Good job. Okay, people, nice, okay? Nice, entonces eso es para que veamos, ok, que in this case the verb to be is a little simple, ok. Ahora, si se fijan, aquí no he metido ningún otro verbo, ok. Entonces es muy importante que no metamos ningún otro verbo a la hora de utilizar este, 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 este verbo, que sería was or where, ok. Si se fijan, no tengo ninguna activity como play soccer, ni watch TV, ni nada, porque únicamente lo puedo utilizar con places, adjectives, and professions, ok. Es importante que nos acordemos de eso, ¿ok? Hay otras maneras en las que se pueden combinar, pero... Perdón, ¿ok? Hay otras maneras en las que se puede combinar, pero eh, no estamos viendo eso ahorita, ¿ok? Así que ahorita, very simple, ¿ok? Lo estamos viendo simplemente eh, viendo los diferentes, las diferentes formas en las que se puede, ¿ok? Que sería adjective, place, and profession, ¿ok? Solo para mencionar eso puedo utilizar was or were, ¿ok? And the last one, which is question. Please, teacher. Hello. Repeat, please. ¿En qué forma se va a utilizar? Dijo. Ah, okay. Place. Yeah, eh, por acá lo tengo. Don't worry. Sería para professions, a place. Ah, ya lo noté. Sí, sí, uh -huh. sí. And an adjective. Yeah, oh, don't worry. Uh -huh. sí, no, no thank problem. You. Uh -huh. No problem, okay? No problem. Así que nada más en eso. Y no estamos combinando ningún otro verbo, okay? Se puede combinar teacher, con otro verbo. I, I, Pero no, no estamos viendo eso ahorita. Dígame, Jorge. Tell me. Teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. The exercise number 14, the uh, sentence say they were, uh, they were in, uh, my uncle and aunt. Uh -huh. This, I said, this a profession or adjective? They are adjectives. Uh -huh. They are adjectives, porque es una palabra que le atribuye a esa persona. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Es como brother or, or father, ok. I mean, <clears throat> their names are not father or brother, ok. They are like something that describes the, the person, ok. Algo ah, que okay. describe a la persona como hermano, tío, ok. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you, teacher. Yeah, no problem. That's a good question. Uh -huh. That's a good question. Ok. And the last one, yes, no questions, okay? Yes, no questions. De igual manera, cuando tenemos, por ejemplo, she was my colleague, if you see, I change, I change everything, okay? I change everything. Was she my colleague, okay? Was she my colleague? Now, when I have a question like, do you have a boyfriend or do you have a girlfriend? The answer is yes, I do, or no, I don't, right? Because that is in the present. Or a question in the past. Hey, did you take a shower in the morning? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay. Entonces, siempre nos ponemos, nos ponemos a ver con qué empieza la pregunta para responder con eso. In this case, the question is with was. Was she my colleague? Yes. What do you think is going to be the compliment? Yes. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. Excellent. Okay. Because the question is with was. Así como, como respondo, por ejemplo, did you take a shower, respondo con did. En este caso no voy a responder con did, porque la pregunta es con was. Okay? Así que tengo que fijarme en el tipo de pregunta que me hacen para poder responder. Now, what is the negative of was, people? 
Mm -hmm. no, no, she, she wasn't. wasn't. No, she wasn't. Excellent. Okay. No, she wasn't. Okay. So there we have the affirmative answer and the negative answer. Okay. So we can pay attention to that. Very simple. Let's see. They were my classmates in the English class. Ah, were they my classmates in the English class? What is going to be the affirmative answer? What do you think? Yes, uh -huh. were they were. Yes, they were. My Excellent. Okay. Were. Uh -huh. Very simple. Okay. Yes, they were. Okay. A short answer. Uh -huh. A short answer. Yes, they were. Okay. Yes, they were. Now, what is the negative? No, they no, weren't. They weren't. They weren't. Uh huh. No, they weren't. Okay. Excellent. Uh -huh. Yeah, perfect. Okay, perfect. Así que siempre tenemos que poner atención con qué nos están preguntando. Si nos preguntan con did, I answer with did. Si me preguntan con do, respondo con do. Pero en este caso me preguntaron con was o con where. Entonces respondo de la misma manera. Okay. Así, so easy. We have, uh -huh, easy, right? Easy. You were in your house yesterday. Were you in your house yesterday? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahora, en ese caso, en ese caso van a cambiar los roles porque es una conversation. Ya habíamos hablado de ese, de ese tipo de cambios que hay cuando es una conversation. Entonces, aquí, ¿cómo respondería usted? Were you in your house yesterday? Yes, I was. Yes, yes I was. I was. Uh -huh. Yes, I was. What about no? No, I wasn't. Ah. I wasn't. No, I, was. I wasn't. Okay. No, I wasn't. Excellent. Okay. No, I wasn't. So, there we have the different answers, okay? Ahí tenemos las diferentes respuestas eh, que podemos dar a, esta, a este tipo de preguntas, okay? So, any questions? No. Do you have any questions? I don't have questions. Okay, perfect. Now, ya hablamos de la 2.6, ¿verdad? Que vamos a responder preguntas con who had a boring time, who had a good time, okay? Now we can move on to 2.11. Ya, no, ya podemos hacer la 2.11. Dice, complete the sentences, sorry, complete the following conversations. Remember to use the past, the past of be, es decir, was or where, okay? Now, something important is that I'm going to use was or where, okay? Cuando sea pregunta, acordémonos de poner was or where con mayúscula al inicio, okay? Porque si la ponemos con minúscula, probablemente nos vaya a dar error. Aparte de eso, cuando sea negativa, tenemos que utilizar contractions, ¿ok? Es muy importante que utilicemos contractions, porque si ponemos where not, eh, no nos los va a aceptar la plataforma. Así que tratemos de poner contractions, ¿ok? Vamos a poner wasn't or weren't, dependiendo del caso, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer la primera. La una y la dos vamos a hacer juntos, ¿ok? Let's see, number one. How long... It says you, your where, parents, where, where you your go? parents, uh -huh, in plural. Yeah, so what's or where, what do you think? Where, where, uh -huh. where, uh -huh. where, uh -huh. how long where were your parents in Europe? Parents. Ah, they, they were, where, uh -huh. they were, con mayúscula o con minúscula, what do you think? They were, Minúscula. No. Minúscula. Ah, ok. ¿Cuándo, ¿Cuándo voy a usar mayúscula? Cuando está al principio. Ah, cuando está al inicio, ¿verdad? Ya sea con was o con where, voy a utilizar mayúscula, ¿verdad? Así que en ese caso era afirmativa, así que tengo where. Así que aquí tengo más. Hay unas que son negative, en el caso de la número 6. Así que acordémonos, utilizamos contraction, ¿ok? Wasn't or weren't. Si usted por casualidad pone... Eh, eh, con contraction, ok, asegúrese que no sea la tilde, ok, porque la tilde, solo le voy a mostrar, la tilde es así, es como para un ladito, tiene que ser la que es, la que es este, quiero ver, esta, ok, la que es rectecita, ok, por veces también ese, ese problema tenemos, que ponemos la tilde en vez de poner el apóstrofe, ok, así que Ajá. si a usted no le sale correcto, eh, yo le puedo ayudar en ese aspecto para que usted solo copie y pegue eh, eh, o lo hace desde su celular también o no sé, hay diferentes maneras para poder tener ese apóstrofe ahí, ¿ok? Así que no se preocupe, lo está haciendo bien, nada más hay cuestiones de, de, de plataforma, ¿verdad? Que tenemos que acostumbrarnos eh, con los detallitos que tiene la plataforma, 
Okay. Así que very simple. Okay. Only was or where. Was or where. And be careful with the capital where letter. Uh -huh. Hay que tener cuidado con las mayúsculas y con wasn't y weren't. Okay. Como decían ahí. Y la última. 2.13. Que ya está ya, digamos, eh, haciendo como resumen de todo lo del pasado. Eh, in this case, we have another conversation y tenemos eh, cuatro preguntas, ¿ok? Ahora, eh, la manera más fácil acá de hacerlo es no hacer oraciones completas, ¿ok? Para evitarnos eso del punto, que un espacio más y ya sé, les digo porque es que siempre cuando utilizamos oraciones completas se nos va un espacio o se nos olvida el punto. Entonces, la manera más fácil sería solo poner, digamos, el nombre o poner yes or no. ¿Ok? Para hacerlo más fácil. Así que por lo menos en el caso dice Where did Jason go? ¿Qué significa where? ¿Quién se acuerda? ¿Dónde? 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 Exactly. Oh. Entonces vamos a poner un place. ¿Ok? Entonces en ese caso puede poner únicamente el nombre del lugar. ¿Ok? No es necesario que escriba toda la oración. Para hacerlo oh. más fácil. ¿Ok? Para hacerlo más fácil y para hacerlo más simplificado. Lo mismo con la pregunta. Eh, did he enjoy it? Sabemos que podemos yes. poner yes, yes he did or yes. no he didn't, ¿verdad? Pero la manera más fácil y la manera que yes, yes. la pudiera hacerlo más acá es poner yes or no, ¿ok? Ahí depende de lo que se escuche, ¿verdad? Y lo mismo con la 3 y la 4, no. ¿ok? Lo mismo con la 3 y la 4. Nada más tenemos cuatro preguntas ahí, ¿ok? Así que eso es lo que nos queda de la plataforma, ¿ok? Ya ese es como un pequeño resumen de todo lo que hemos venido haciendo en cuanto al simple past, ¿ok? All right. Me acuerdo que ayer teníamos una pequeña tarea. Todavía nos quedan cinco minutos. Teníamos el dolor de, el dolor de cabezas de los regulators. Ok. Let's see. A ver si lo pudimos hacer. Ayer hicimos wash. Ok. Y dijimos que era wash. ¿Verdad? Con letra T al final. Entonces vamos a practicar otra vez los regular verbs. Ok. Porque veo que me están diciendo eh, ed al final y no es ed. Okay, acordémonos que tenemos eh, three, three types of eh, pronunciation. Okay? Tenemos tres tipos diferentes de pronunciación. Okay? Yes. Vamos a ver. Le voy a preguntar individualmente. A ver si, 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 si usted me dice si es T, si es D o si es ir. Okay? O me hace el, el verbo en pasado que sería mejor. What? Eh, perdón, no lo voy a decir. Mm. Pero digamos en caso fuera wash, eh, washed o What's... washed. No sé si, si en caso fuese ese, ¿verdad? Pero... Ya sabemos que en este caso es con la letra P. ¿Ok? Washed. Vamos a ir columna por columna. ¿Ok? Vamos a hacer primero la columna de wash. Vamos a ver. Watch. Vamos a ver. Le voy a preguntar a Helen. Let's see, Helen. What do you think? Watch it. Uh -huh. Termina it T. Con T. Excellent. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? Termina con T. Watched. Uh -huh. Watched. Uh -huh. Excellent. ¿Ok? Watched. Vamos a ver ahora, play. Vamos a preguntarle a Jorge. Let's see, Jorge. Play. 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 Yo sé que se escribe play, pero ahí nos vamos a imaginar que la letra E no existe. Ok. Play. Uh -huh. Play. Uh -huh. Let's see. Arturo, travel. Vamos a ver, Arturo. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Travel. Travel. What do you think? Travel. Uh -huh. With letter D. Um, uh -huh. Excellent. Okay. Traveled. Uh -huh. Travel. Excellent. Let's see. Carla Beatriz. Jump. 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 Hey, um, get a jump, jump it. No. Hmm. Para que sea id, tiene que jump. terminar con D o con T, pero en ese caso termina con P. Uh -huh. Jump con D al final. Con D. Sí. Hmm. Con What? T. Uh -huh. Brother, yeah. uh -huh. Como ahí vamos, ahí nos ponemos la mano en la garganta, ¿verdad? Y hacemos el jump. 
y vemos si la letra P vibra o no vibra. Si no vibra, termina con T. Y si, y si vibra, termina con T. Ajá. Esa es la, esa es la, la, la clave. Y obviamente, como les dije, vamos a pasar con la mano en la garganta, pero ahí, mediante vamos utilizando los verbos regularmente, vamos memorizando la pronunciation. ¿okay? Así que sería jumped. Ajá. Jumped. Vamos a ver. Okay. Ana. Yeah, no problem. Ana Miriam, walk. Let's see. What? Excellent. Uh -huh. With. Okay. Uh, T. Uh -huh. Excellent. What? Uh -huh. Nice. Eh, vamos a ver el siguiente. Work. Eh, Elmer. What do you think, Elmer? Work. Sí. ¿Cómo sería la, pronuncia la pronunciación correcta de todo el verbo? Work. Uh -huh. Work. Uh -huh. Work. Si se fija, termina igual con la letra K que walk. ¿Ok? Entonces, ambos van con la misma pronunciación en pasado. Work. Perdón. Worked. Uh -huh. Worked. Excellent. Eh, let's see. Enjoy. Enjoy. Nelly. Enjoy. Enjoyed. De. Uh -huh. Perfect. Uh -huh. Enjoyed. Uh -huh. Nice. Alma Joana. Talk. Talk. With tea. Uh -huh. oh. Talked. Uh -huh. Talked. Si nos fijamos, se vienen repitiendo algunas letras, ¿verdad? Walk, walked. Work, worked. Talk, talked. Uh -huh. Excellent. Vamos a ver ahora paint. Jesse. Paint. Easy. Ah, ok. ¿Cómo sería la pronunciation completa entonces? Paint. Ajá, pero como si es con ED, ¿cómo sería el final? Il. Ajá. Painted. Painted. Ajá, excelente. Ok, painted. Ajá. Decíamos que esa es una de las pocas que cuando terminan con la letra D o con la letra T en presente, en presente perdón, la pronunciation sería con ID. Ok, con ID. All right, ya casi terminamos. Practice. Vamos a ver. Practice. Marlon, what do you think, Marlon? Practice. Practice um, D. D. Practice. Vibra o no vibra. Practice. Uh -huh. No siento que vibre, teacher. Ah, entonces, ¿con cuál sería? <risa> D. D. Si es cuando es cuando la letra D es porque vibra al final. Entonces, ¿cuál sería el caso contrario? Ajá, T, ok. En este caso sería practiced. Ajá, practiced. Ok. Vamos a ver, Rosario, hate. 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 Ajá. hate. Ah, le, voy a, T. le voy a dar una pista, Rosario. Hate. Cuando tenemos L E D, la última letra sería la letra T. Entonces, ¿cómo sería la pronunciación? Hate. Hate. Hated. Ajá. En este caso, hated. Sería, con, ajá, sería con ID. Porque antes de la letra ED, mejor dicho, antes de las letras ED, tengo la letra T. Entonces, eso me dice como la regla de paint. ¿Ok? Entonces sigue la misma regla. Painted. Hated. Ajá. Painted. Hated. Ajá. Hated. Ok. Excellent. Vamos a ver. Listen. Listen. Vamos a ver. ¿Quién hace falta por acá? Vamos a ver, Jennifer, listen. D. Uh -huh. Excellent, ok. Listen. Uh -huh. Listen. Ok. Eh, vamos a ver, eh, Helen, consider. D. Uh -huh. Can you say it? D. Consider. Considered. No, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Uh -huh. Considered. Uh -huh. Considered. Uh -huh. Excellent. Uh -huh. Nice. And the last one, Mirna. Fix. Fix. Uh -huh. Fix. Mirna. If not, Mayra. Eh, fix con T. Excellent. Okay. Fixed. Uh -huh. Fixed. Excellent people. Nice. Ok. Entonces, para que vean, ¿verdad? Ahí nada más es cuestión de práctica y usar los verbos diariamente. 
para que se nos vaya quedando la pronunciation. Ok. Good job, people. Good job. Ok. Ya finalizamos section number two. Nada más nos va quedando section number three. Ok. So, uh, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much and see you tomorrow. Ok. Have a good night. Yeah, tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Yeah. Cualquier yeah. cosa, ahí estamos por WhatsApp, ok? No se preocupe. Okay. Si tiene algún problema con una plataforma. No problem. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.